So what's the title of this article? Master on the Mound. As a good reader, you automatically think strategically and actively to understand what you read. As a tutor, your challenge is to learn specific reading comprehension strategies to teach explicitly, one at a time, to your learner. By learning comprehension strategies, your learner will become aware of how to think in order to make meaning while reading. Skimming is a comprehension strategy that helps readers get to know a text without reading it thoroughly. Good readers skim texts automatically, but struggling readers must be explicitly taught the steps involved in skimming, such as reading the title, subtitles, and headings, looking at illustrations, reading the first and last sentence of each paragraph, looking for key words, and thinking about the text's meaning. Hi, Saman. How are you? I'm very well. How about you? Good. Good. So, you know, we've been talking about all these different ways that you can improve your comprehension yeah. and remembering what you read. Uh -huh. And so we had talked about the strategy or the tool of skimming. Okay. Do you remember what skimming is or have you ever skimmed yeah, something? Yeah. So tell me what, in your own words, what's skimming? Read the article, the title, and a little bit of the paragraph. Yeah, so you don't read the whole thing. So you're just kind of reading to get the, the main idea, the okay. general idea, or the gist. You want to get the gist of what it is that you're, you're reading. First of all, I just want to sort of introduce the idea of skimming and how you can do skimming in, in lots of different ways and um, to really emphasize the idea that skimming is sort of just browsing and looking around to get the, the general idea. Okay. So we're first going to, to work with this magazine. And so we're going to have a little game here, okay? So I am going to give you one minute to look at this magazine. Have you ever um, gone through a, this magazine before? It's called Living? Yes, I probably... You have, okay. Yeah, Martha Stewart. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so you may already have a general idea of what it's about. I would like you to, to just skim this magazine, just kind of go through it. Okay. You're just going to kind of flip through it okay. and get a general idea of what this magazine is, okay. what it's like, and you have one minute to do that. So not very long. No. So you're going to have to be pretty efficient and, okay. and quick. Okay. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. All right. Go. So I have some questions for you. What kind of magazine is it? It was living art magazine, but it has lots of stuff, recipes, um, people with in a bed, like maybe a mattress. They're advertising. Okay. Um, a phone on the back for an iPhone. Okay. Um, recipes for food. Uh huh. So everything that's part of your life, yeah. right? What about work? Do you think it's going to focus on work? No. No, why, why do you, what gives you that idea? Because it's living stuff, you want to be at home. So what do you think some of the articles, some of the stories in there are about? Um, you can actually flip through it right now. How about this one? Well, this one's talking about organizing your bed, your bedroom. Okay, okay. About lamps, uh -huh. color for paint your a room. Uh, okay, so uh, decoration, decoration kind of stuff. You know, and another way to, to figure out what the articles are going to be in a magazine is, is what? These. You don't even have to open it, Yeah, right? pizza, crust. <laughs> yeah, so you're just skimming. So you're getting a general idea. So we got cooking, cooking. we got what else? Gardening, home garden, 30 Gardening. ways. Gardening, okay. So who do you think would like this magazine? Grandmas, parents. Uh huh. Um, people who want to organize. Would you read this magazine? I would probably read the title and see what's in the magazine. Mm -hmm. Then, if it's something interesting to me, I would probably read it. Okay. Do you ever go to like a newsstand or a bookstore and and there are all those magazines there and you know you kind of flip through yeah. them and you look and you see you're you're skimming. Yeah. Right. You're saying it's like okay, what articles are there? You're getting the general idea of what's inside that magazine. And then what does that help you decide? If you want to buy it. Good. So yeah. So skimming can be useful in in terms of that. Is this something? I don't have much time to be to be reading. Is this something that I want to be spending my time? reading. So skimming can be yeah. helpful in that way. 
You've just seen a learner and a tutor practicing skimming strategies to help the learner understand the gist of the text. You can use this strategy with a variety of texts for several different purposes, depending on your learner's interests and needs. The goal of practicing reading comprehension is for your learner to master and internalize more and more comprehension strategies to choose from and use in a variety of reading situations. You've seen a tutor do quite a bit of talking when explaining a new strategy. During most lessons, you and your learner would be equally talkative. 